Hello everyone, today we're focusing on Cambridge IJCSE Mathematics, topic of number, subtopic, ratios and proportions. So under ratio, we basically look at the relationship in amounts between two or more things. So for example, 3 is to 2 means one particular person has 3 fifths of the amount while the other person has 2 fifths of the amount. We also can use equivalent ratios. So for example, if you have a ratio 3 is to 2, then if you multiply both sides by 2, this ratio becomes 6 is to 4. So both of these are therefore considered equivalent ratios. Similarly, if we have a ratio 15 to 20, then when you divide both sides by 5, this results in 3 is to 4, which is also an equivalent ratio. Moving on to an example. So if we have the ratio between A is to B as 2 to 3 and B is to C as 3 to 4, find the ratio of A is to C. So you can see that A is 2 parts to B is 3 parts. And same way, B's three parts are equivalent to C's four parts. So if we put it in one line, A is to B is to C is basically 2 is to 3 is to 4. Which then means that the ratio of A is to C is 2 is to 4. Which again, if you want to use equivalent ratios, you can simplify this to 1 is to 2. Moving on, we have proportion. So proportion basically means what is one value increasing while the other value is decreasing, for example, or increasing and increasing or decreasing and decreasing, basically. So we have um, an example here. So we have if A is increasing, B will also increase. Same way, if A is decreasing, B is also decreasing. If this is this case then we call this direct proportion right and an example of this would be when the price of gas increases the food price also increases and then we have inverse proportion which is if B increases A will decrease or if A increases B will decrease right so basically the um, arrows are the opposite way around so for example the time to take a complete a task will decrease if you increase the amount of workers, right? And that brings us to the end of uh, the lesson for today. All right, so we're going to finish off with a few questions. Which of the following is the equivalent ratio of 2 is to 8? Um, so if we multiply 2 is to 8 by 2, we can see that this is going to be 4 is to 16, which is one of our options here. So therefore, 4 is to 16 is the answer for this one. In a school, the ratio of boys to girls is 4 to 5. If there are 4,500 students in the school, how many of them are girls? Okay, so basically totally we have 9 parts. So we are going to divide 4,500 by 9. And this is going to result in 500 students. So each part is basically 500. And if we look at um, 500 into now we are looking at how many of them are girls so girls is basically five parts so this is going to be five times five which is 25 so 2500 right 2500 is the answer here all righty then we have a drink is made by mixing fruit juice and water in the ratio of three is to five so we have three is to five this is the juice this is the water and we are using two liters of water so if we want to figure out how much juice we have we have to divide by the five parts to give us how much one part is worth and then multiply by three so the answer here will be basically six over five which is the same as 1.2 so the answer would be 1.2 liters okay and next one a recipe uses 550 grams of flour uh, to make eight cakes work out the amount of flour needed to make 360 cakes okay so basically we have 550 grams of flour to make eight cakes and now we want to make 360 cakes so we have to figure out from 360 how much is that that is basically 45 times more 
so same way we have to go for 45 times more on this side so 45 times 550 is basically 24,750 grams of cake but the answer asks us to give it in kilograms so that is basically dividing by 1000 so the answer is going to be 24.75 kg and that is this one Alrighty, so that brings us the end of today's session.